Well, Anthony Albanese made a critical error. Unlike his authoritarian peers in the other Western nations, he actually asked if Australians would like to come on this journey with him toward extreme left politics. And we, almost alone in the world, had the opportunity to say no. Daniel, how is the Labor Party and the activist class, particularly Indigenous Minister Linda Burney, how are they rationalising the result that showed that the largest no votes came from regional and remote communities, including those with the largest Aboriginal population? It wasn't exactly a redneck victory that the ABC accuses of. Was this a victory for the small voices over that of the bureaucracy? Yeah, I think it was a victory for mainstream Australians over the elites. And in terms of how are the Yes activists handling this, well, they're in denial. Um, their main argument has been Australians were deceived by misinformation, that they didn't know what it is that they were voting on. And you would have thought that the Labor Party would be curious as to why 80% of Labor-held electorates voted no. I mean, this is astonishing and this has never happened before. It's not just a disconnect between the mainstream and the elites there's a fundamental disconnect within the Labor Party. Um, as you know, the Labor Party is led by the left, yet the voting base of the Labor Party is on the right, and they have thoroughly repudiated the leadership of the Labor Party. That's why they don't want to think about this or talk about it, because it's too difficult for them um, to understand. And there is now a real big opportunity for the coalition um, to speak to mainstream Australians, and to speak to those Labor voters that are disenfranchised, um, there are far more no-voting Labor voters than there are yes-voting Teal voters. And the path back to government for the coalition is not through the inner cities, it's clearly through the outer suburbs, and I think we're going to see a rapid decline to Anthony Albanese as leader, and I believe that we're going to see a rapid reshaping of our politics and our culture in this country, which is long overdue.